Hey guys, Rocky Duncan here with HD Services and Entertainment. We've got Cody Frazier with me today, who sponsors the Decline Show on his YouTube channel. Uh, he's going to talk to you a little bit about what it is he does and his passion for horses. Uh, how are you doing today, Cody? Well, I'm doing fine. That's good. Uh, could you just tell our guests a little bit about what it is your your show contains and what it is the Equine Channel obtains to, such as what your passion for horses and such? Well, the Econ Show is mainly uh, for uh, abuse horses. I also do learning activities the proper way to take care of your horses. I have partnered up with the Horse Humane Society and the News of the Horse editors to, you know, spread the word of horses that have been abused every day. There's been countless reports about these horses been suffering, neglect, abuses. They even been uh, die from it. So I created the page on May of 2016 to do the uh, channel, but I was hoping we could get more uh, subscribers so it can go a long way. Yes, so in, in your three months of having the show, how's that been going? Do you have a, a few followers or people watching your, your, your shows? Well, we do have quite a bit of uh, followers on the Google, well not followers, but viewers on Google+. Plus. They, I've been kind of wa watching the uh, views and going up since uh, yeah. mornings. Right now it's at 1,698 views, almost to two, actually 2,000 views at the moment. Good for three months time. Uh, how, how often do you uh, make new videos or how often can people <laughs> expect to see a new video from you on your show? Well, it depends on what topic the news of the horse editors have me to do when they release an article. I go through the article, read it, point out some good obvious facts. Uh, there's going to be a video release uh, tonight on the equine show as well. Great. Now it's my understanding you have a horse of your own, is, is that correct? Uh, Cody? Yes. He's my uh, therapeutic horse at the North Central Missouri South Club in Trent, Missouri. Uh, me and him met uh, from last year. I didn't know this horse at first or the owner till I get to know him. Mm -hmm. He was pretty jumpy. He even sca got scared of whole sounds and all that. But since around March, uh, March came around, I've been working with Cody quite a bit. He's, he's pretty much an awesome horse that I ever had. Yeah. Now did your passion for horses stem even more after getting Cody or have you always had this passion? Well I had this passion back in uh, 2010. Uh, I think it was 2010 or 20 uh, beginning of 2012. Uh, I guess I know we came home on Thanksgiving mm -hmm. on the day after my birth. Uh, instead of the state, since I went to uh, uh, see the state of Missouri for rights to get back to my parents. Mm -hmm. And we were at a foster home. Uh, this, her name is Judy Gross. She owns about eight manager ponies. And that's when I first fell in love with horses at most, because I didn't know nothing about them until I actually learned from these minis. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, so you, you cover a broad array of topics on, on your equine show. Is there any specific topic you like doing better than others? I, I know you're very against the abuse of horses. Is that probably one of your better topics you like to push on people to get them to understand the cruelty of horses and how it really is out there in the real world? Yes, that one, that one as well. It is very sad and deeply seeing these horses being collected and abused ever since then. There's one article I had posted on the Google Plus page. It's probably about a few weeks, uh, actually a week ago, I think, uh, where this horse rider in the Olympics 
forfeited the match because she didn't know that her horse was uh, not feeling well. So she got off the horse and laid it out of the ring. Do you, do you compete in shows with your horse and stuff as well? Yes, I do the horse judging competitions yep. to, you know, do our best out there. We came fourth place in the competition, and I told Cody that we did great together. He looked at me with a smile, and we we, we did some uh, things together after that uh, show is over. Good. Now, what is it that is your goal, ultimately, with the Equine Show that you're wanting to happen or see happen in the future? Well, what I want to see in the future is to, I'm trying to do a fun page where people can donate money to uh, help sport abuse horses. Because if we can get so much money coming in each time, the money will spread out to every horse in the inside across the United States. Great. Great. Sounds good. Guys, this has been Rocky Duncan with HD Services and Cody Frazier from the Equine Show. We hope that you, you tune in, check them out on the YouTube channel, and give them some support when you can. Thanks, guys.